Our goal the day she was born was to make sure that she had the best chance possible to be the best gorilla she could be. It meant that they were carrying Kendig around constantly, day and night, all the time. It takes a tremendous commitment to do this because this went on for months. We spent the first five months of her life trying to fill in for what she'd missed by losing her mom. We had to teach her to ride on a back. So gorilla moms will carry their babies on the back. So we would crawl on all fours and we would put Kindy on our back and we would vocalize with a good gorilla sound to her. As she got older and started exploring more, we wanted to make sure that she was familiar with all aspects of the place that she was going to be living. So we crawled through the day rooms with her. We slept with her at night in, in a bed of straw. We crawled through the yards and made sure that she was familiar with grass and made sure that she got enough sunshine. When Koi Lee took Kindy on, everybody just cheered because we had done um, what we had meant to do, which was to bring Kindy to a spot where she could be with gorillas and have a family of her own. Kindy wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for the help of the medical specialists. It's fun for us as physicians to be able to come and do this. It's a whole different side of medicine that we normally would not see. You could just name the specialty. It's everything from acupuncture to physical therapy to cardiologists to OBGYNs. It's a little different in terms of getting information. You can't just ask the gorilla, let's have a blood sample. Behavior management is extremely critical for the welfare of the animals that exist here at the park. We're always looking to try to help animals express the different behaviors they're hardwired with. In the springtime, animals really start moving and they want to roam and they want to go further. So we try to help let that energy out by moving them a whole lot throughout the day and giving them lots of choices. And we make it fun. Enrichment are specialized activities or goodies or toys or puzzles that we can give the animals that engages them to tap into that behavioral repertoire that they have. When I see animals that are able to use enrichment to tap into that repertoire that they have, it brings a smile to my face because I know that that's achieving the best care possible. All the energy and all the effort and all the learning and all of the knowledge that I started to gather over those many years before Cunnick showed up prepared me for Cunnick. We did have some health challenges with Cunnick and that relationship really paid off then. Cunnick was so weak at one point, we were just trying to come up with any type of food vehicle to get her to take her medicine. Every living thing looks for stability. So giving her something that was always consistent, always constant, which turns out for a lot of animals, a lot of people, is their mom. So I took on a mom type role with her. You know, this little bear is splayed out on the floor. And she would pull up her energy because Jane Ann asked her to come over. And she trusted Jane Ann. It means a lot. It's, it's unlike anything I can, I, I can't really explain it. I knew I was going to do this. <laughs> to be able to be let into her world is an amazing thing. That bear is alive today because of our staff, because of Jane Ann, because of Kevin Grizzle, because of the Glacier Run team. I'm proud of all the care that we give to all of the incredible precious beings here, human and non-human, and we're always working to make it better and better every day.